morning. We are, Dave and I are in Indiana. We are at the Grub Ridge uh, Trailhead, uh, the parking site in the Charles Deem Wilderness area. We're going to be going out in the Peninsula Trail. This is kind of an interesting trip for us. This will be the longest we've ever gone out backpacking together. We'll be doing uh, uh, two, two nights and three days. And uh, this will probably be the longest kind of hike with a backpack, or at least one of the longest. Uh, it's about five miles out to the lake, Monroe Lake. And so we just got here, uh, and we're going to be heading out. So uh, we'll be getting on as we go and uh, sharing some things. Got some new equipment to use that I think you'll find interesting. And uh, we're going to have a good time. Uh, this is the longest I've gone, and the first time I've really carried a backpack since my open heart surgery last June. So, uh, kind of excited to get out and get going again. And, uh, so, so we'll get back with you later. So we are right here at the parking space. Okay. This is the tower Ridge road that goes along here. And then we're going to be going up the Grub Ridge trail and it goes all the way up to here. And then it splits off and the Peninsula Trail goes there, goes all the way up there. And what we're going to be trying to do is camping in some of those sites along there. So we're pretty excited about it. Be able to sit there on Monroe Lake. Hopefully we'll be a couple campsites left there. There's only three or four cars here in the parking lot. So I, there's a lot of sites out there. So there should be plenty of room for all of us. So we, de are locked. we decided we need to get some video before we took off in case we can't talk by the time we get there so <laughs> so what do you think bud i'm ready buddy it's a yeah. beautiful place i can see that the trail looks a little wet but i think yeah. we'll be all right yep yeah. could be a little muddy but uh we got a we got pretty full packs so uh yeah. we're taking cpaps with us and batteries and those are pretty heavy yeah. and we're taking a little chair and that's pretty heavy so uh uh yeah so uh we'll find out it's uh, should be about a two yeah, let's see what four miles so five miles, I thought. well five miles but four miles in uh, two hours so probably two and a half hours we yeah. should be able to get out there and we'll probably take a break or two as well so all right well we're off <laughs> So we're going to stay here tonight and uh, we're going to just, just camp tonight and probably take off tomorrow. Uh, I, we definitely would like to come back to uh, Lake Monroe. That looks like a really sweet campsite, campsites out there by the lake and uh, we'd really like to do that. But uh, decided probably better not try that this time. And uh, after just going, you know, a couple miles here, I'm... I'm pretty beat already, so uh, I'm going to sleep good tonight. So uh, we're going to enjoy it. We're going to make the best of, of it. Sometimes you just kind of have to make decisions and say, you know, I can't do it today. And uh, we really wanted to go out there, that five-mile hike, but uh, it wasn't going to happen today. So uh, so we're going to enjoy what we can. And uh, like I said, it's a nice nice day right now. It's supposed to be clear tonight, and then it's supposed to start rainy tomorrow. So maybe we'll be able to get packed and back in the car before it actually rains much, and that that would be nice. All right, well, we'll get back on later. Oh, where have I been? Stupid silence. You've been standing right there all along. So here's my <laughs> clothes that I wore out today on the hike. And they are absolutely sopping wet. They've been hanging here for... Oh, I don't know, probably five hours, and they're still just absolutely soaked with sweat. So it's been a, quite a day. I wanted to show everybody my new hammock. I have the circadian hammock from Hammock Gear, and uh, I got the green one, the dark green one. The reason why I got that is because it has the ripstop nylon that ha is good for like 500 pounds. 
uh, most of the ones they have are like uh, they have materials that are like 350 but 500 just makes it that much uh, stronger and since I'm kind of hard on hammocks I decided that's what I would get so it it sleeps pretty comfortably so far it has these wonderful little uh, zippers here and so they glow in the dark so you can find them at night that's really nice and I've got my ethereal quilt there from trailheads don't know if you can see the there it is so uh, I love that I've got my CPAP and uh, I brought my raincoat uh, may need it tomorrow not really sure and of course there's my raincoat and uh, then of course I have my Aurora tarp there we go Again, that's from Trailheads. And uh, so, yeah, the typical setup for me. Uh, one of the things that I also got uh, that I brought out on this trip is I got a little table. Um, this is actually part of my retirement gift. Uh, okay. Is this little outdoor table. And it's got little things that break apart into three things and they just poke right in the ground and that's really <clears throat> really nice I really really like it. it gives you something to put your stuff on but it's really really lightweight and hardly weighs anything so that's good then my my uh, staff got me that and they got me a circadian uh, cover for my uh, hammock uh, so that I can use it in the winter. It has mesh on one quarter of it, but the other one has a cover over it to keep you warmer. And that's pretty cool. And then they also got me another bag to run along the ridge line. So uh, really, really thoughtful presence. I, I guess they, they asked my wife and then my wife asked some guys I camp with what I would like and uh, uh, they, they picked well, so. I'm sitting in my circadian hammock it's just pretty well gotten dark here and uh, so I'm still not really sleepy yet so uh, I've been catching up on my email and posting a few things on the internet not too far away from us is a whippoorwill and he has been going almost non-stop for oh man it's got to be about 25 or 30 minutes now. There was two of them. One was really close here. And uh, I I wasn't sure it was a whippoorwill, so I got my sound uh, files out for birds. And it was a whippoorwill, so I played it. Well, then, man, he started really going to town here, close by. And it was so loud. I could not believe how loud it was. So I got a horned owl uh uh, video out and uh, played hat and uh, he shut up but there's another one quite a ways away but he's still pretty loud and so he's been going to town I'm hoping they uh, shut up before I decide I want to go to bed <laughs> and actually go to sleep so it's a nice night here it's supposed to get down in the high 50s uh, so it should be a nice cool evening to sleep good good sleeping weather it's not too humid. It's a little humid tonight, but not too bad. And it's not supposed to really rain until about 10 or 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. So hopefully we'll be able to get uh, everything unpacked or packed back up and get back to the car before it rains. And that would be good if we can get that accomplished. So kind of a disappointing day today. Uh, we, we just, uh, I couldn't make it out. To the five mile hike I just couldn't get that far I got about two miles and my legs just felt like spaghetti and uh, partly because of the mud but is the trail was really muddy today so that was really hard we normally I average anywhere between 25 or 30 minutes every mile and the first mile 
uh, it took us almost 55 minutes because we could just only go slow because of the mud. And uh, so that that kind of affected things. And then the other thing is I left my blood pressure medicine in my car back in Indy and forgot to bring it with me. And I had no, uh, well, I have just like, I have one blood pressure medicine, but I, I have three tablets that I take every day and I had none of that. So I thought, you know, I'm not very, you know, I don't think it's very smart to keep on moving <laughs> out there. I'm absolutely exhausted already. I don't need to have some kind of heart attack or stroke or something like that. So, so we came back and got this site and it's, it's, it's a nice evening. And so we're just kind of, you know, make, making the best of it. And, uh, you know, what do they say when you get lemons, make lemonade. So we, we had some lemonade today. But it's still good to get back on the trail. I love this new hammock, this circadian from uh, Hammock Gear, and uh, it's really comfortable. And uh, I've I uh, also have a little table that I got, and uh, I think I t got some pictures of it. Uh, so I got a place to kind of cook stuff on, uh, but it's a really lightweight table I can take in the backpack and not uh, weight myself down. And then I also, I don't have it with me, uh, but uh, my staff got me um, a circadian uh, uh, winter cover. So I have a winter cover for this hammock now. Uh, and, and so, you know, like when I go winter camping, it'll keep me a lot warmer. There's mesh on about one quarter of it and the rest of it is kind of sealed in. So it keeps you quite a lot warmer. So. And my staff got me that one for my retirement gift, that and the, and the table, and also got me a Ridgeline organizer. And uh, boy, that's great. I guess they called my wife, and my wife called Dave and some other people, and they figured out what, what would be good for me, and uh, they got it. And, you know, it sure beats plaques and uh, flowers or anything like that. So uh, I'm real excited, and I'm having a good time just using that stuff tonight. So, uh, yeah, it's been pretty good. One nice thing about being out on the trail is, especially here, is I have access uh, to all my emails and stuff because I have cell phone access here. And so uh, that's been kind of nice. I've caught up on a whole lot of my emails that I really hadn't had much time to mess with. Oh, excuse me. I'm getting a little sleepy. Haven't had much time to mess with it uh, since school's been out. And uh, so, so, uh, that's been kind of nice, and I've just been catching up on a little bit of reading, and and uh, you know, it's 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 just been good to just be out here and not have anything to do, not have to worry about getting back and grading papers or anything like that. Retirement is definitely sweet. So, I am going to be teaching astronomy at Capitol in the fall, but that's uh, just one night a week on Wednesday. So I'm still going to be able to camp and. And, uh, you know, I don't have to go when it's rainy and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, looking forward to, to, uh, getting out on the trail a little bit. Um, <laughs> I definitely have to get in better shape, but, uh, uh, we'll, we'll be working on that as we go. Right. Well, we had planned on being at Monroe Lake, uh, but we didn't make it, and we're okay with that. We, uh, we, you know, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. So we had this nice little site here that we stayed last night, and uh, we're packing it in and going home, and we're going to miss the rain this way. So, so what do you think, Dave? I think we're a plus on all levels at this point. <laughs> gonna. Dave was just saying this is your first time packing in Indiana. It is, and mine too. So. Uh, so a little history there and uh, so we're gonna pack in and we only have about 20 minutes left to get to the car so that won't be too bad and uh, we're gonna miss the rain it looks like so that'll be good, that'll be good. and we're definitely gonna have to get something to eat and maybe use a facility as well so <laughs> all right all good well things. we'll catch you on the trail Well, we are back at the car and excited to be back. And uh, so uh, we're gonna hopefully go find some place to eat as our, is our tradition. So remember, uh, as Dave and I always say, if we can do it, you can do it too. So, uh, and uh, this one was a hard one, 
but uh, it worked out okay and we had a great time. So uh, hope to see you on the trail.